Uh, hello there, uh, Dolores. Uh, your place is fascinating. Well, thank you very much. I, I did it my way. <laughs> uh, no decorator, huh? No, I, I admit, though, I took a few ideas from home and garbage. I mean, house and garbage. <laughs> Say, and, uh, listen, you're Lewis. Yes, I know. <laughs> well, Lewis, uh, welcome to Elizabeth's home away from home. Uh, you and Lewis married? Uh, no, huh? -uh. Just a boyfriend, huh? No, Mr. Sanford. Hey, pop freeze on the third degree, man. No, this is just social conversation. See, it's like uh, uh, breaking ice, chitting and chatting. <laughs> uh, is uh, Elizabeth your girlfriend? No, sir. I know, it's just a boyfriend, is that it? Well, that's right, but... Yeah, it's all right to have a boyfriend or a girlfriend. Uh, even, uh, you know, uh, that's today. <laughs> that's today, and I, I try to stay with today's views. You know what I mean? Uh, now, where's your other roommate? Lewis is our other roommate. <laughs> you mean, uh, Lewis is your other roommate? Uh, this Lewis? Yeah, that's right, Pops. That's today. Yeah, that might be today, but damn if it's gonna be tomorrow. I thought you just said you had today's views. Today's views is yesterday's news. Oh, no, 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 Mr. Sanford. There's nothing between uh, Elizabeth and me. That's what I'm worried about. <laughs> Ain't nothing between you. I wouldn't mind if something was between you, like a wall or a state. Oh. Mr. Sanford, I'm surprised at you. Maybe my father would feel better if he understood the relationship between the three of y'all. I know I would. Oh, listen, listen, listen. <laughs> I'm afraid. Look, Dolores and Lewis and I are equal friends. Now, what does that mean? That means I wouldn't do nothing with Lewis that I couldn't do with Dolores. I mean, we'll be we'll be taking our meals together and we'll be studying together. That's right. And Lewis is very handy. He can fix things around the apartment and stuff. But when it comes to anything else, he's got his dates and I got mine. Yeah, and I got mine. And uh, anytime you want to be one of them, give me a call. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> We moved! <laughs> Open up! Open up! We living in Detroit now! <laughs> Catch the bus and join us! Say, look, um, if I were you, I wouldn't tell Aunt Esther that the three of y'all are living together, okay? Uh, hey, I'll get it. Uh, Esther! Hi, honey. Hello, Lamont. How was Mexico? It, it was fine, Aunt Esther, but I had to cut my, my, my visit short. Yeah, Esther, why don't you do the same thing? Uh, uh, Aunt Esther, this is Dolores Markham. Hiya. How do you do? It's a pleasure to meet a friend of my niece. And who is this? Uh, this is Louis Watkins. Yeah, he's a friend of theirs from school. I thought you said you had two roommates, Elizabeth. Oh, wait a minute. No, Esther, she didn't say she had two roommates. She said she had to roommate. What you talking about? Well, you know, high stuff is now, a single girl can't afford to live alone. She got the roommate. So uh, Dolores here is the girl that, that uh, Elizabeth picked a roommate with. Do you have a nice room, Elizabeth? Oh, it's very nice, Aunt Esther. As a matter of fact, it'll be ready tomorrow. I'm coming over and help you decorate tomorrow. You are? Yes, what's your address? Uh, Aunt Esther, uh, how about something to eat? Uh, yeah, Esther, why don't you go out there in the yard and graze? 